Yeah, I'm a Carolina girl through and through. They say Tar Heel born, Tar Heel bred, and when I die, I'm a Tar Heel dead. Usually, I don't post. <laughs> But I want the world to know Time to pull a drop top out Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah We've been keeping it in the house Welcome to the homecoming vlog. It's October 3rd. We're going to North Carolina to UNC Chapel Hill to be exact. It's going to be a fun filled weekend and I'm really excited about it. Yeah, I just wanted to welcome you guys to the vlog. Me and my pimple patches. All right, all packed up. This is the airport fit. A black top, Nike track pants. I'm wearing these shoes only because um, these are the shoes I'm gonna be wearing to tailgate on Saturday. So it's one less thing to pack and why not, right? Unfortunately, hubby won't be coming with me. He's not gonna be able to experience the glory that is UNC homecoming. Glory and UNC? I don't know if that's a thing anymore, baby. Since when are you a hater? Are you gonna miss me? Absolutely. Be back before you know it, love. All right, let's get out of here. So, just made it through pre-check. I am at the Delta Lounge. This is what they have going on. Not bad, beef stew, potatoes, Brussels sprouts, lentils. It's yummy, and then I just got some still water. So, made it to RDU. I'm outside the airport waiting for my mom. She should be pulling up shortly, but my long sister Taylor, she's staying with me this weekend, but she's flying in from Miami and had a layover in Charlotte. And of course, her flight was delayed, so originally she's supposed to land same time as me or right around the same time but she's just now taking off from Charlotte so I'm gonna head home and then come back to get her so that way my parents don't have to stay up really late my mom should be here at least I can yeah yeah feels good to be back in North Carolina I get to wear my sweatshirt nice little chill outside let's see temperature 67 degrees like yeah I miss the east coast but I'll check back in with y'all later Good morning, vlog. Hey, you say good morning. Me and my house, my last sister. Bye. My flight was beautiful. Got upgraded to first class. It was lovely. Y'all, we stayed at talk until like three o'clock. You know when you get with your girlfriend, you can see you running your mouth. Talk. Yeah, we could have kept on going. That was at the time I said no. We got a long day ahead of us. Um, it is, let's see, nine o'clock already. Nine o'clock already. Okay. Gotta get ready. I still wanna go to Sephora. Go to brunch by eleven thirty. Or to get to here and then it took eight to get Yeah, she had a layover, that's why she flew spirit, so that's no, what I'm happened. Not. That's what I'm happened. That's what, I was a, I'm a Delta Gra. They Amer went through. American is the new spirit. <laughs> I believe that. Yeah. All right, y'all. Let me get myself together. I'm sorry. I'm coming to y'all really crusty and musty right now, but I just want to, I just want to, you know. Let y'all know we made it. Let y'all know we made it. My last sister made it, and we're about, next time you see us, we're gonna be looking out like completely different people. All right, I am just about done. I just put on my lip, which she's cute. This is a daytime brunch, so I don't want anything cray cray. Um, I'll show you guys my outfit in here in a second. Put my boots on. I think everything went, came out pretty well. <clears throat> Breaking out, obviously. This side looks good. It's, this is the side that's, you know, a little troublesome. Let's just, let's just bring her right there. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Quick stop at Sephora. I wanna get like a really dark lip liner. We got our Sephora goodies, four goodies. Show me your bags, hey. So now we're heading to brunch, and um, I thought I was recording, but we were betting off who's gonna be having the most um, brunch shots, and 
We're confident that one of our line sisters, Devin, will take Definitely the cake. Take, she'll take the cake. So we will report back. And she will motivate us all. That's Motivate? Yeah, she can motivate. Okay, let's go. With the skirt and the pants. With the braids? And the braids from and Kenya. Uh, Kenya. You look cute, boo. So cute. Yes. Hey, y'all. Yeah, she got little teeth jewelry, too. We got a new, got a new character unlocked here. New character. Okay. Okay. My sister, Sephora, hey. aka Destiny. Hey, Destiny. Hey, to the vlog. Hey, to Destiny. So we just pulled up to, it's a southern thing. It's so long. End of the vlog, y'all. Say hey Hi. to the vlog. Yo, we at the Airbnb just chilling. Nap time, keeping it spicy. So we got the pretzels, a little burgundy action. She cute, she cute. So after brunch, we went to um, Urban Outfitters and Free People. I wanted to. Um, shop for some jewelry for tomorrow so I did that and then we just came over here we're one of my last sister's airbnbs so i'm gonna take some pictures but yeah this is the fit and then we're gonna be going to step show shortly so i'm gonna change my outfit for that y'all ready all right y'all we made it to campus we got a new character a lot this is my other line sister bria this is the fit. Got my jacket. Put it on. Yeah. Put it on. Solstice, baby. Oh. What number was you, baby? 23. 23. 23. That's my bad. <laughs> years later. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Welcome to the elevator, sir. Hello. How are you? Yes. Tell us who you are. Hey, to the camera. Uh, I'm Chris Williams. What's up? Class What's of 25. Okay. Oh. Oh. This is Davis Library over studying. here. This is the student I union. I stayed at the student union, honey. Can we go through here? Yeah, let's see. This is so nostalgic being in here. This is the student union. All right, Aggie's walking to the step show. Hi, Lekka. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Good morning. We are ready for game day. This is Alexis, she gets arrived for the homecoming festivities from Cabo, might I add. Okay, something slight. So we are about to head out. This is the outfit of the day. Real preppy, real tennis mom. Very much giving, I'm picking up the kids after school. But this is the crew neck. I decided to just tie it on my back for now because it's 80 something degrees. 80 degrees. Got my Adidas. And yeah, I just feel really cute and preppy. I'm gonna put some sunglasses on here in a little bit. But this is the look. Um, it's 
slept very well last night thanks to my little sister's house very very well right. chef's kiss I'm just trying to, this my, this one of my, you take two bottles of water to the football I think we're, we're, ta we're taking <laughs> communion right now are we doing communion <laughs> ladies <laughs> communion <laughs> 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 Campus has changed so much. All right, y'all. Y'all be safe. I'll see y'all. Okay, right, we'll see y'all. The pit stop. I gotta come back to the pit stop later. <laughs> the student stores. This is so nostalgic. in the game for a little second. Yes. Very good. Very good. Very ready for the game, yeah. It's like 80 something degrees right now. Quite hot, but it's cute vibes out here. I have not been back here in like five years, so it's been a cute minute. But yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. Feeling good, feeling great. Yeah, we just pulling up to the next tailgate. We just enjoyed the game. So let me show you guys where I live. My senior year of college, right over here. And these were like apartment style uh, dorms. So they're like a Jack and Jill situation. So I had my, me and my roommate were on one side. We shared a bathroom and then we had a living room and then we had our other two roommates on the other side. Rams Village. Yeah, seriously, it looks so pretty. Turn the fuck up for the rest of the entire night, man. Hey, tailgate's not over. We still got plenty of food, plenty of drinks, and we're gonna be a living room tonight. Thank y'all so much. I love it. I love it. Strolling campus right now. We are literally going through campus from the south end to the north end. I don't know whose idea this was because this is a long ass walk, child. I do. And I don't. Thank you. Thank you. This is a long, I don't know how many miles, wait, Kia, you had the right idea. I never walked this, I, I would take the bus. 
you did a walk. Did it but <laughs> from from H, yeah, from all the way from Bowles to Franklin, Franklin all the time. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm with my class 2014. My college room. <laughs> we're like we're we're so old to them. We are so like, old. Oh, the old heads. And I and listen, I'm okay with it's that. It's okay. It's okay. We really ten years out. Ten years out. And the weather is lovely. Yeah, we got a great. We did. We won. We won. Definitely won. But yeah, we are walking all the way from South End to North Side. Which I would like. What would y'all estimate? How many miles is that? It's like from, it's what, like, from, uh, That's why you could eat whatever you wanted to eat. That's 100 percent why you didn't have to think about it because you did that shit every day. No, a mile every day from down there to yeah, South Campus. More, I think. No, it's way more than a mile. I don't think it's like way more. Wait, no more than two. No more than two. Okay, I think well, I put it like 1.5 to like 1.75. Kevin maybe. or um, Kia, you put it on your watch. The walk, the miles. Okay, so we're gonna know in a second. But are you, are you videoing this? I am. Okay, well, what? not the whole way, but I'm just. Hey. All right. I'm all vlogging. Right, we're here. Hey. We, we are, are here. here. My 2014 fam, all the way from the UK. All the way. All the way, way from, from NY. Hi. All the way from 919. Oh, okay. Child. And then all the way That's from crazy. Austin. It is crazy. It's beautiful. Thank you. We out here. All right. So I am walking now to the pit, which is like the centralized area where everyone hangs out in between classes. It's the house. Hey, we got to take a pit stop at the pit. You want to the pit? We're going to the pit. We have the cafeteria. We have the undergrad library, and we have the student union. So here we go. This is considered the pit right here. Student stores, student um, union, one of the libraries, cafeteria, another library. Y'all, this is crazy. Yo, we, we in the pit. We in the pit. <laughs> I got no name. Oh, we did a graphite. Wow. That's what I like. I sort of like it. Like, everyone's going to get it. Yeah, everyone's going to get it. Oh, I'm stretching my legs. Let's get it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, see, you with us? You graduated. It's for the men. I graduated in 2014. The infamous old well. I'm so weak. <laughs> I know y'all want to see all these goddamn photos. I'm so weak. <laughs> we still out here making our way, trekking our way to Franklin Street from South Campus. And so we're on North Campus now, and this is the infamous Old Well. And the story goes, if you drink from this on the first day of class, you will get straight A's. That's the book of this That would have been a great idea. I got a bunch of hey! We made it to Franklin Street. Life, life matter. Yeah, my whole life. Is, this is a true college town. Right now, that's my shit. Where did that come from? Free food job. It looks kind of different. So, Franklin Street is like the downtown area of Chapel Hill. And. It's where we would go for like after games, especially if we be Duke, we would rush Franklin Street. But it was also it's like a hub spot. It's like Chapel Hill is a college town, so it's mostly college people that stay here. And yeah, Franklin Street was like just the place to be. Like there's bars, restaurants. Um, where is this? Huh? It was R and R. That was down this hallway. We were over here. Yeah, the cafe beyond. <laughs> So this is Franklin Street. This is where we <laughs> And all of our places are no longer existent. This is Hi, I'm Kia. This was my college roommate for two years. The one I told you we did like a Jack and Jill. So we had a common living space. She was on one side with Jill. I was on the other side with my roommate Jerry. So for, for me, Aggie met long ago at PU. At, she didn't they like don't, me They don't know what that means. Probably Upland. Project Upland. Upland. Yeah, they don't have that anymore. Really? Yeah, because he yeah, got what? Get rid of. It's yeah, this is Warren. This is also oh, this is Pam. Video. Hey, YouTube fans. This is where we used to go. Where was this place before? Oh, that was um Cafe Beyond. Cafe Beyond. Cafe Beyond. At the bottom. Oh, R.I.P. Cafe Beyond. 
Beasties used to be. It's gone. Beasties. R.I.P. Beasties. Everything is gone. Everything is gone. Other, other library gone. gone. Bro, library was. That was the place. See, that was, that's actually tragic. They got rid of library. Were you, were you there that night when the big fight broke out right before graduation? I don't think I was there. Oh. They bought, they bought, they bought, they bought, they bought, Another classic wait, wait, top wait, wait, of the hill. I'm so mad that I don't. I don't need it. Good morning. So it is now Sunday and. I'm back at my parents' house after such a full weekend. Such a full weekend with, honestly, individuals that really shaped my young adult years. And it was just so nice to just be back with them and seeing everyone doing well. Just And you know, people, like we've all gone through our own journeys since graduating college and all gone through some iteration of challenges and just life in general. And like the fact that we are all here, like just our livelihood, our health is such a blessing. So anyways, I had a very, very beautiful homecoming weekend in Chapel Hill. You will see my alma mater forever gonna be the best, one of the best decisions I've ever made going to Carolina. So, so happy that I got the opportunity to go there, graduate from there twice. Um, if y'all don't know, I actually got two degrees from Carolina. I got two bachelor degrees, um, one in global studies with a minor in women studies, and then uh, another bachelor degree in nursing. So I have been posting on my stories all morning, and I'm like, I looked at my clock. I'm like, girl, you gotta get ready. I have to go. I'm getting ready now to go to one of my good friend Ruka's baby's christening. I'm really happy that I am able to be there um, since I'm in town. So it's just perfect timing. So I'm just doing my makeup really quickly and I have like 20 minutes before I'm gonna get out of here. So I can start with my tinted sunscreen. I'm gonna do a really quick face today. I'm going to do a little I'm gonna do a little yummy skin. Tinted SPF, like a darker tinted SPF by Lip Tinted. I'm just gonna blend those two together. I'm not even gonna color correct today. I'm just gonna keep it real cute, real natural. But yeah, it was just really nice to be with my college friends, my college roommates. We were all back. Um, my line sisters. It was just like good energy all around. Like, honestly, really, really good energy. Everyone was just happy to be back. I was really proud of my class as well for actually like pulling through because, you know, when life happens, sometimes people won't prioritize like coming back for their homecoming especially if you lose contact with people so it was all love and also like I believe we were just talking like my friends and I on how like when we were in college we had no idea what our lives were going to look like in 10 years you know like we had no idea where we would be living what we would be doing with our lives like we were quite literally just doing our best in the trenches. I went through a period and I didn't even know that my my college roommate remembered this, that I really was struggling with like what I wanted to do with my life career wise. I went from being pre-pharmacy to being pre-med, finally to being pre-nursing and I was just so unsure, unclear as to like, what I was gonna do with my life and had no I felt like I had no direction and I shared this story before as a while ago but um I actually had like <laughs> a breakdown at one point my was it junior year and I was like failing one of my classes and I totally just 
was just reconsidering. At this point, I was pre-med. I remember I had failed organic chemistry. And I was just like wondering, like, what am I doing? Like, <laughs> what's, what am I doing? Mind you, I remember when I failed that class, I remember, like, not... How do I say this? Like, I was just like, whatever. Like, I guess wasn't, I did not, I was not focused at all. I didn't want to be in that class. And the final, I didn't even study for the final. Like, <laughs> I did not study for the final and I completely bombed it. And so I had a, a really interesting time where I remember one summer I was working as a tour guide on campus for interested students. So like, you know, showing the campus to them, like telling them about Carolina history, you know, a summer tour guide for campus. That's what I did in the summers. It was really cool. And I remember like, after doing a tour, running into one of like a, a associate, I would say, and she was with her, um, her church going around campus. And yeah, she just stops me to say hi. And then she asked this randomly, like, can I pray for you? And I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, in my head, I'm like, absolutely, like, I need all the prayer. Because I was just, like, mentally really down. And just, like, like I said, just didn't know what my purpose was going to be. So anyway, she prays for me. And she literally just speaks over my life, saying, like, God is telling me that you've been struggling with, like, what you want to do with your life, with your career. It's like, it was just so spiritual, like, really the Holy Spirit was speaking through her to me, and she just reassured me, she was like, the Lord is telling me to tell you that everything's going to be okay, you're going to figure things out, like, you're going to be okay, and I just remember I, like, broke down in tears, crying, it, just, it makes me, oh, sorry, it makes me a little bit. Mm. It makes me a little bit emotional thinking about that moment because that was like the one of the realest moments I've had like where I, I really felt like God saw me my struggles and he wanted me to know that he saw me and where I was struggling and I really knew God was real from that point on and <laughs> Sure enough, I was okay. And shortly after, I did find a career path that I was super excited about and passionate about. I think the next semester, actually, actually is whenever I kind of got pulled into the direction of nursing and felt really, really good, of, good about it. And, you know, we just thank God. Like, everything has been, like, it's different since. So anyways, I said it all to say, like, during college, we were all just doing our best, like, just trying to pass these daggone classes, trying to, like, pursue careers um, that we, you know, just fell into. Some of us end up pivoting, and it's, always, it's never too late to pivot and to change your career path. Like, that's one thing I will always tell people, like, it's never too late. Go for whatever your heart desires, and, like, go at it full force, and don't let anyone stop you. So anyways, I had a wonderful weekend. More of the story. I'm just gonna set my makeup. Now, like almost four o'clock. Yeah, it's three forty-five. I got back from my friend's baby's christening an hour or two ago, and it was beautiful. And I just finished packing as y'all saw. That is it for today's vlog, you guys. Like, I had such a beautiful wedding. Huh? <laughs> I had such a beautiful weekend. Campus still felt the same, even though there were some differences in like the buildings and like Franklin Street where they have restaurants. It still had the same, like, just, you know, safe feeling, like, very much. It's like home. I felt like I was back home. And you see the students on campus even, and like just seeing their little communities that they're building. It just brought back all the feels of like, that used to be me 10 years ago. 
head down, working my booty off just to do my best in these classes. And like I had mentioned earlier, not quite sure like what I was gonna do with my career or you know, working towards some vague, you know, what I thought I wanted to do. I was working towards those, uh, that career path, but not really knowing where life would bring me, not just career wise, but like everything, you know, like now I'm married. I would have loved for Jesse to come back with me, but it, it didn't work out that way. He had other um, commitments, but yeah, he's being married now and, you know, like living in Texas, like of all places, I would have never told you. <laughs> I would have never thought I would end up in Texas, not that. I was against living in that state, but I just never <laughs> went to Texas growing up. I was always on the East Coast. And so now to know I have a home, I'm a homeowner, a career woman, and a wife, and so many other things. And just so many things have happened since I graduated in 2014. I've been so many places, seen the world, had so many experiences, both like good and bad, like just lived life and so much life left to live and it'll be cool to reunite and who knows, another five years, another 10 years and you see how everyone's life is evolving and I just really pray, 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 pray just for everyone's um, safety, livelihood, protection and health. We can't take that for granted you know for us just to continue to just be little tar heels in the society like just doing the daggone thing but yeah it's really cool it really felt especially with like my girlfriends like my close girlfriends being back my roommates my line sisters like it's just different like seeing them outside of college like i've seen them obviously like we've hung out in our different cities or whatever blah 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 but being back on campus where we met, it hits different. I only wish that I had more time to really go throughout campus, like go to my first college dorm, go to all the college dorms, and just kind of like walk the halls again, really walk that memory lane. That would have been special. Um, there were just like little things that I didn't have the time to do just because it was a full weekend. You know, started off at my last sister's birthday brunch. Um, I had to run a few errands and then we had step show and then I went to support my other line sister at her engagement um, uh, gathering. She just got engaged to her now fiance and then Saturday was like tailgate, 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 uh, tailgate, tailgate, tailgate all day. Went to the game. So there wasn't like it was it just the weekend flew by it flew by but it was just so full like my heart is so full yeah i'm a carolina girl through and through they say it's hard hill born it's hard hill bred and when i die i'm a star hill dead <laughs> and that is just like core 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 feeling like the pride of being a star hill and just sharing that with other like-minded individuals and i'm yapping at this point because i'm just I just don't want this feeling to go away. I'm just trying to, to just cherish it and yeah, God is so good. God is really, 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 really good. All right, I think I am done yapping away. It's been nine minutes. Um, I am going to get ready to head to the airport. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and got to enjoy a uh, blast to the past for me and just seeing a peek of what my college years look like or just like the campus let me know in the comments if you are a Tar Heel or even what school you rep I'm curious um and I will see you guys on the next one bye bye